30th of April 2016 will forever remain in the mind of young Dialarine Saisi. Her parents were among tenants residing at the ill-fated building that collapsed in Huruma after losing all hope of ever finding his kinsmen in a seven-story building that collapsed, leaving more than 45 people dead. This miracle of a baby was retrieved under the debris at ground zero of the seven-story building in wee hours of the morning, four days after the tragedy struck, though her mother Eunice Bosibori was not as lucky to witness the rescue. <laughs> The baby, Dalirin Saisi, who ignited optimism of the nation, was found comfortably lying in a basin, which could have shielded her from harm, oblivious of the deaths and destruction that had been unfolding around her during the disaster. And today, it was a different story altogether. Safely relaxed in the arms of his dad, Dalirin Saisi, was taken on a tour of the site of the collapsed building, perhaps in memory of her mother, before embarking on birthday celebrations. Oblivious of what was going on around her, family and friends joined to celebrate the life of the miracle baby who turned one year old on Sunday. And as the celebrations faded, her family's only hope was that their Lorraine fate was only a forerunner to a better tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> most of my days in this world have been in Ruma. Na bado pia mstiana wangu bada kwa Ruma. Sasa ikawa ni vigumu sana ku separate from my family kwenda mahali pengine because you understand mi peke yangu singesimama mwanzo so nilihitaji mtu akuwa karibu ambaye ni wazazi walikuwa karibu ah uh, hiyo ndio ilinisukuma kabisa lazima nikakae huruma kwa sababu wao pia kushift huruma haitawezekana